Hi everyone, Tanya here, the uh, creator of the Facebook page No More Animals at Eagle Pet Center in Jockby. I uh, wanted to make this little video just to kind of touch on a few issues. First of all, I wanted to say um, a big congratulations to everyone involved. Um, we did good work and we were persistent and we were respectful and the outcome ended up being exactly what we wanted, which was to save the animals from those conditions. Um, now I know a lot of you, along with myself, don't necessarily agree with the steps that were taken by the Federated Humane Society or the uh, place that they chose to place the animals, um, but I think that with uh, persistence and because of the amount of attention that has been brought on to this situation that the animals will definitely find good homes. Um, I wanted to give a couple special thank yous. First to my mom. Um, she's been very supportive and helpful through all of this and she actually was one of the people that I sent in the store to check on the conditions of the animals and um, also Nicole Dietz Bratner, I think is how you say it. Um, she went with me as well the second day. She checked on the condition of the animals and she was there snapping pictures um, and being supportive when I had my conversation with the owner trying to encourage him to surrender. Um, I thank these people especially because it, for those of you who had, had not been in the pet store, it's a very hard thing to see and to walk away from. It's, it's, it's very difficult to witness and to feel um, helpless and leaving the animals there, so I want to thank them. I also want to thank um, Azure. She is the founder of Rough Start Rescue the group that I volunteer with. She's been extremely supportive through this entire situation and she and along with everyone in Rough Start has been wonderful. They're amazing people but Rough Start has really taught me the difference between a good rescue group and a great one. So I want to thank them. I also want to thank Lisa Peterson. Um, she has provided a lot of really helpful, useful information, and she's been very active um, on the Facebook page. Um, and again, everybody on the page. I, all I did was create a page. I created a page for a place for us all to talk and communicate because I started to realize how many people were affected by this and how many people it bothered. And you guys are the ones who made the difference. You're the one who the ones who made the phone calls, sent the letters, were persistent and made our voices matter. So a lot of people are emailing me, sending me messages, thanking me, but really I could never have accomplished any of this on my own. So I really, really hand it to all of you and you should all be really proud of yourselves and you should all, you know, give yourselves the credit because that's where it should go. A lot of people might not agree with this either, but I want to also thank uh, Ed Dressen's family. Um, I know that they were detrimental in helping him come to the decision to surrender the animals. And I also would like to um, send a message to Mr. Dressen that I do appreciate that he did um, finally decide to step up and do the right thing. So um, I know that was probably difficult for him, and so I... I commend him for stepping up to the plate and doing so. Um, I also want to encourage everybody still to attend the City Hall meeting August 7th at 7 o'clock. It's important for us to continue just because the animals are gone doesn't mean that this is over. We need to make sure that we let uh, our city officials know that this kind of thing going on in Shakopee is not something that we are going to accept any longer and the ordinances need to be changed to reflect that so that in the future if something ever were to come up like this again there would be um, ways to protect the animals as to where in this situation it was very difficult because the um, answer that we kept getting was there's no rules being broken he's not in violation of anything so if we can set something up so that he not he hopefully not he but anyone in the future does anything of this nature those things are already in place so that it doesn't have to become this big of an issue so that will be on August 7th 
7 o'clock um, at the Shakopee City Hall. And I appreciate the mayor putting us on the agenda, and I appreciate his involvement with this as well. He's been very cooperative and very supportive, and um, though we may not have always agreed or liked what he had to say, he has always stepped up to the plate and been more than willing to hear us and uh, participate in what we're doing. Um, there is another topic that's going on in Scott County. It is Millie. Uh, some of you may or may not have heard about the savage man that beat his dog nearly to death with a sledgehammer, which she, until her head cracked open, she did not die. She had to be euthanized. He has a court hearing that they are protesting on August 8th. I'm not sure of the time. I believe it's 8.30, but I ask the people that are running that to post it um, here for all of us to know. And I encourage everybody to participate in that as well because that's another uh, major thing that's going on and that's going to be important to um, help support that issue as well. And they've been supportive of ours. Um, I along with many of you, have had many sleepless nights worrying about these animals, so I hope that we can all uh, take a deep breath and be thankful and know that they're safe and that they are in helpful hands. Um, and yeah, again, I, I just can't even, I can't even put into words how proud I am to be a part of this wonderful group of compassionate, caring people that stepped up to the plate and did what's right and I know that if these animals could thank us right now they would and I truly know that they feel and believe in their hearts and they know that we fought for them and they are very grateful so I look forward to meeting all of you at the City Hall meeting and again I appreciate everything and I know the animals do as well take care